Let's wire up LED lights to one battery and a motor. Thanks for watching. I'm going to show you how to wire up a motor with an old on and off switch that I've torn out of an old toy or if you have a different one that will work also. But this video is just to show you how to do that. First you're going to take your 9 volt battery. This is my power source and I just so happen to have one of these that I ripped out of an old toy. So that comes in handy. A little trick I learned that I want to teach you. You take a lighter and you light this it's called stripping wires real quick. You just light it real quick, use your fingernail and pull it off. Look at that. You don't gotta use your teeth. End up chipping a tooth over nothing. There you go. Okay, this is for you beginners who don't know this. I'm sure most people who are advanced do know this. This is real simple. Obviously you hook it up and you got the motor going in one direction, which is now going counterclockwise. Now if you reverse it, you will be going clockwise real simple just something for the beginners so we're going to show you how to hook up the on and off switch and what you're going to do and remember in electronics everything goes in a continuous circle so just go ahead and wire one of these up i'm just going to do this quick for you guys so you guys get the hang of it you don't need to watch a two hour video i'm going to put some tape on there if i if i were you doing this you'd use electrical tape so you wire up one side and what I mean by continuous circle is everything has to go in a circuit in a continuous circle. You don't go to the battery and then back to a switch. You don't do that. You go in a circle. And I'll try to spread these out so you guys can see them better. This is the on and off switch that I have. I'm going to use a welder to unweld this now to take it out. But you can buy an uh, on and off switch maybe off eBay or if you still have Radio Shacks by you and just have just the on and off switch. Mine's stuck to a board, I'm gonna separate them now. Okay, using uh, pliers to hold that down worked the best, as you can see in that time lapse. And now I've got my um, on and off switch taken off. The reason I use this circuit board is it also has resistors, and I'm gonna show you when I wire up an LED light on this in the same video. This video is all about tips, tricks, and tactics for wiring for beginners. Okay. You have to play with it to actually find, because what I got here on this little on and off switch is eight different prongs, and I just found that it just so happens that when switched um, at this point, this is my positive and my negative. So you just have to find it, play with it, try to find which one it's at. If you buy an on and off switch, um, it's usually only going to have maybe two or three prongs. It'll be a lot easier for you. Mine was a little difficult, so... Okay, if you can see that, I've successfully wired up a on and off switch. And as you can see what I mean by a continuous circle, you got your battery and the battery, like say the, the positive side, is feeding into the motor and coming out from the motor back to the switch. And now when I turn this off, it should turn off my motor, which it has done. Right there, it stopped. And back on and back off. This is great if you're gonna build a toy or just for hobbies or for little kids to learn stuff, circuitry. Okay, and off the same circuit power board, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have the motor working in the continuous circle on positive and negative, and I'm also gonna wire up an LED light to the same circuit board, I'm sorry, to the same on and off switch. Um, so when you turn it on and off, it'll also turn on a LED light and it'll also turn on the motor. Let's go ahead and do show that. you guys what we got going on now. What I've done is wired up a LED light and that's what's on that little spring right there. I've wired up the LED light. It's a really cool one that glows a ton of different colors. Um, we're gonna wire that up over there. I think you just seen it flash. Woohoo! There we go. We're already wired up. <laughs> and then you're gonna um, this motor, the brown wire it's going to go exactly where that spring wire is. So the same switch is going to set this up. Okay, so now we're going to get that going. And so I don't have to like try to hold the camera. It's really hard. What I've done is put a resistor on a wire. So go ahead and put a resistor on a wire yourself. And we'll continue to... What I'm going to do is take that resistor on the wire and put it on this positive side right here. So what I'm doing is stealing the power source and it splits off a little bit of the power is going to be going 
the positive is going to be going this way to my LED light and also the power is going to split off to my motor. So if you could understand that, copy what I'm doing. Okay, I know we got a lot going on here and it's hard to look at it, but what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to take the brown wire and put it back where it was in the beginning. It just got in my way and got unwelded. And I'm going to put it back on the negative side of this switch right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I got my motor wired up and you can see that's spinning right now. I could turn it off if I want to or just leave it on. There's my on and off switch, turning it off. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back on. Because now we're gonna wire up the um, resistor to the LED. Let's do that. Okay, so now we got everything working. There's my LED hooked up to my um, resistor. And you see what I've done is the positive and negative. You have to put the resistor in there when it goes from the positive to the um, to the LED light and back to the on and off switch. And what I've done is, see they're sharing the positive power and it's getting split before it gets to the motor and before it gets to the LED light. But they all come back to the negative side of the on and off switch. And when I turn this off, the motor and the LED light should stop working. And there you go. So when you want to build like a craft toy, a model ship, something, you could wire it up with LED lights. You could check out my other videos um, on how to wire just a LED light. And also I made a model ship that's really cool. You should check that one out. And I wired that up with LED lights.